It's about two brothers who have started a company where they use uh, the science behind psychological manipulation and decision making to uh, control outcomes for their, their clients. So we do mind games based on human behavior. And Clark Edwards, who is the genius in that, he comes up with the strategy. I play my, uh, uh, Clark Edwards, who's an expert in the field of human psychology, manipulation, and behavior. I'm a professor who uh, basically studied this field because I'm bipolar and wanted to understand what was going on in my head. And then my, my brother has, a, has an idea of joining forces with his business expertise and my psychological manipulation technique uh, expertise and we combine them to sell to people, individuals, companies, whatever, ways of manipulating people, selling that service. We manipulate them with 60 years of research into human behavior, stacking the odds in your favor so that when it really, really mattered, you came out on top. It's been very fascinating to see some of this stuff get put into action and you know, see how um, this group of scientists and, and somewhat misfits can come into a situation and, and, and really alter people's lives uh, just by doing little things, you know, just, just adjusting little things uh, can really make a, a huge difference. There's a lot of real science that gets, finds its way into the show. And sometimes it gets kind of meta because we're talking about, you know, the science while we're actually doing the science. We're like playing roles within roles and playing ourselves or playing other people. It's, it's cool. The human behavior that is in the show, this is, these are true facts, these are true studies. They're not like made up studies. These terms that are used are actual terms. If you look them up, that's what they mean. We deploy a psychological strategy. Simply put, we change people's minds without them knowing we did it. Like Jedi mind tricks. Like Jedi mind tricks, exactly. If I could go back in time and use some of these things, like in high school, I probably would have used it like on a teacher to make a grade higher, but didn't know about it then. <laughs> it's described as a one hour drama, but I mean, when you hire mm. Steve Zahn and us, you know, all of, all of the cast has a comedy background and they write to it. So obviously we, we've got to play it. Yeah. And I think that makes it really, really more dynamic than most dramas on TV. So hopefully that will resonate with the audience. So the good thing is the humor that was n not necessarily written in, you know, there is that, but a lot of it came from us just playing it, you know, and the absurdity of the situation. So, and Christian's uh, just a, a dynamite actor and a funny dude. And I think naturally we just, you know, just, pretty funny. Steve is certainly naturally a, a humorous guy and there have been certain scenes that have been difficult to get through uh, because yeah we would laugh or uh, you know and also I think just the, some of the things that Ross does they're they're so wrong that that we would laugh because again we're like this situation is so bad <laughs> how can we get through this so as an actor, it was, it was sometimes hard to, to get through it without laughing. Working on this show has certainly made me more aware. Um, and I read a lot of psychology books and, and I read a lot about Bernie Madoff, actually. Um, and using his sort of, it was all a psychological mind game that he convinced himself and others. I, he believed it as much as other people that he was doing the right thing. And especially because my character comes from a background that is full of, um, financial manipulation. I thought that that was really interesting. What people want to believe. We want to believe these things. It's definitely given me a sense of superiority and a lot of like any any sort of little conversations I have. I'm like, well, you're probably reacting that way because of blah, 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 blah. blah. And I know that because I play this guy on TV now. So yes, yeah, I played back hard <laughs> maybe a couple times. It's made me a lot of friends in Chicago. Tons of friends. In business, certainly, and, and doing interviews you got to play a certain part so in a certain respect you know i've been playing mind games probably my my entire career it's it's really just it's just an aspect of it that makes it interesting it's not about him being bipolar at all it's not about ross being a con guy it's about this business it's about what we try to do to people and I think as you know the story unfolds, what's interesting is I think you know by the end you're asking yourself you know who is actually the crazy one you know he's the one that's 
diagnosed crazy, uh, I'm kind of the one that's been getting away with it. And 